welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new around here my name is josephine i post loads of fashion content here on youtube and uh yeah if this is the first time around i really hope that you enjoy your first video but regulars you guys know the drill so today we're gonna look at what's new in h now we're gonna have a look and see if there's anything autumnal that is what we're looking for at the moment so you guys know the drill get comfy get cozy get your snacks your cups of teas and let's go see what's new in H&M. Starting off at the front of the store, there's not too much new in. I can see lots of bits that has been out for quite some time. I think you remember this ribbed body suit um i think the brown shades came late july early august maybe um so we're still waiting for a little bit more autumnal pieces but this shirt dress is in fact new and they have it in a red like vibrant red color and a white color as well there in the back it's a really just laid back and cool transitional piece They seem to do every single year i have a thicker version of this one i think i've got the winter version so this is the more like spring autumn transitional one so it's a little bit more thin you guys remember this cardigan dress vest dress that i tried on in a previous haul loads of ribbed pieces here and this ribbed crop top is very affordable This was probably the most autumnal piece that I could find and it's this v-neck vest now these ones i will actually try on later so stay tuned for that it's a high rise mom jean in a lovely beige sandy color Okay, you guys, I was gutted that they didn't have this in my size because I would love to try it on. Sadly, it was only extra large and large available, even in the white one. And that would have been way too big for me. Like, I don't have the bust for it. <laughs> These ribbed basic tops I've tried on before. For me and my taste, like I think they're a little bit too, I don't know, far in on the side. So, so it doesn't fit my personal style, but they're really, really comfy.
first we have this wool and mohair blend jumper and i absolutely love it i accidentally <laughs> took one that had a loose thread always seem to do that but yeah i really really like it and i love the wide sleeves i love the high neck i love the color i actually think that looks very very luxurious seems very very easy to style perfect for like the scandinavian look and it actually is quite comfy as well And I mean, look at this. When I popped out my gold necklace, it just became even cuter. So yeah, I really, really like this one a lot. Then you guys, the difference between having something just as it is and tucking it in is huge. So yeah, this is obviously horrible, like literally horrible. But when I tucked it in, it gave a completely different look, more of like a kimono style and elegant vibe. But before it was definitely like your uncle on holiday. That is not the vibe that we want. So when I tucked it in, it gave a completely different look. I love these like satin shirts. Um, personally for me, I think that it may be a little bit too oversized and I'm not too sure what I think about the color, but yeah. tried it on in a dark like sort of dusty blue and i think that's a gorgeous color it's a little bit more discreet and basic if you will but yeah this one as well really comfy and a good basic like everyday basic this one i absolutely love and do you know what despite the material i will keep it like um i love it i love it so so much the fit is gorgeous obviously when tucked in and i just think that detailed color the deep v-neck like i just love it the short sleeves as well because they're supposed to be short sleeves and they are when i lift up my arm <laughs> <laughs> when i'm when i don't have my arm lifted up it looks like a normal sleeve on me um so yeah that's fun i'm short and uh yeah i'm just i love it i love it so so much
and of course i had to try it on in a gray one now let me know in the comments down below which one do you prefer the gray or the white one i just keep switching back and forth but i think with this try on clip i think the white one was the one that suited me the best but then again i have so many white tops and blouses so maybe it will be the gray one for me but yeah like i said let me know in the comments down below what you think Then I found this basic t-shirt and it's so, so comfortable given that I would love it because it's 100% viscose. I absolutely love this one. I think it's a great staple, like it's a great basic top to have in your wardrobe and you can both style it very casual with an overshirt or more suited with a suit jacket or blazer or just as it is if that's a kind of vibe. So yeah, I think this one is so versatile because it could be adjusted to anyone's personal style. the beige sandy mom jeans with a high waisted and they have a lovely lovely length on my short little legs so i'm only five foot three i'm 160 centimeters short or tall whatever you want to call it so yeah i think the length of them is perfect obviously you know i'm not the biggest fan of the color and the fit um i think the idea of it was great but just on me personally doesn't work but they're really really comfy and i'd say they're true to size as well so if they have any other color or maybe just a normal blue denim blue color i think that would be really really gorgeous And this dry top i've actually seen online and i wanted to order it or try it on but then i saw the material and i didn't want to do it then when i saw it here in store i was like okay it doesn't feel too bad actually um it is still not ideal i would love for it to be 100 cotton instead but yeah i think it's a really really lovely and cozy knit <music> Okay guys, so I'm now back home and it was a little bit disappointing. I just can't wait for the new in autumn stock to be arriving in the stores. But I think because there was such a long summer last year, I reckon that maybe they have put the orders out to 
be arriving in store maybe end of august beginning of september so we just need to hold out for a little bit longer because i i mean they need to bring out the autumn stock like the latest first week of september so i actually did see a lot of old things like from last year that they brought out which is great i love it when they reuse stuff and to be fair they h&m usually do like continue doing their like best selling items for two maybe three years so yeah there's this one particular cardigan for instance that they do every single year but they they change up the material which is so annoying because two years ago it was 100 percent cotton now it's not anymore and it's really really frustrating but Anyway, I'm not going to ramble on. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments down below, as always, what you thought. Let me know also, like, what it's like where you live. Because this is obviously H&M in Sweden, or in Stockholm to be, be specific, in Stockholm. So, yeah, not a lot of autumn stock around, which is weird because it's quite cold at the moment. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below what it's like where you live, if H&M has pulled out their autumn stock yet and if you haven't already and you do enjoy videos like this fashion hauls i post loads of them so hit the subscribe button and i will just show up in your feed when you're scrolling through youtube and you do not know what to watch i'm gonna be there well i'll be there three times a week anyway um hope you have a lovely lovely evening rest of your day whatever time you're watching this and i will catch you guys next time bye <laughs>